Good afternoon or good morning to wherever you are in the world. Um, God is definitely good, and I'm thankful and grateful that you guys are still tuned in. Um, if you are watching this video, you are blessed. Um, if God woke you up this morning, you are blessed. No matter what's going on in your life today, I just want to let you know that God is still in the healing and blessing business. Um, today, I would like to um, use as a title, Your Will Be Done. And not our will, but God's will. You know, and when we pray for things, um, we need to say, let thy will be done. Not our will, let God's will be done. You know, many things come our way in life unexpected. Disappointments, trials, things we cannot see or have any reason for them, but whether they are major or minor problems, we need to handle them all. You know, the Lord's love for us is endless. It's endless. You know, he said he will love us. He will be with us to the end of time. He wants us to trust him when we can't even see it. And see, that's the goal. You know, when we can't see what's going on, when we don't understand what's going on, when you can't see the road up ahead, trust God. Trust God with your heart. You know, Luke chapter 22, verse 42 says, yet not my will, but your will be done. You know, we must remember that Jesus Christ loves us. He loves us no matter what. And I want to read you guys a scripture today. Um, and it's from Proverbs chapter 3. Verse 5, and it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. So, you know, whatever we do in life, you guys, we must lean not to our own understanding, but lean unto Jesus. You know, we always try to do things our way, and it doesn't, it never works. It never works. We call this person, we call that person. But if we just lean unto Jesus, he will see us through. You know, and I'm thankful and I am grateful today, you know, that God God saw past my faults. We could be doing anything in the world, anything in the world, being with the crowd, hanging with the wrong people, you know, all different things in life. You know, but it's time for us, it's time for us to focus on God's word and God's calling because God has a calling for each and every one of us. He has a calling for you. He has a calling for me. He has a calling for each and every one of us, but it's up to us to answer the calling. You know, sometimes in life we find ourselves in certain situations and we can't understand or explain why are these things happening to us. You know, you find yourself like, well, why this happening to me or why that's happening to me? You know, God sometimes uses things or problems, should I say, to get our attention. You know, he will use things to get our attention. And no matter what we do, we have to lean on Jesus because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. But we must trust him. Even when you're going through it, no matter what you may be going through, call on Jesus. Call on Jesus. Stop trying to impress people that don't even matter. Stop trying to impress people that don't even have your best interests at heart. You know, it's time for us to focus focus. 2018 is here. It's time for us to focus on what God wants us to do. Pray more. Read your Bible. Ask for forgiveness. Trust God. Trust God. Even though sometimes it may seem hard to trust God, but let me say something. If you just sit back and just look back over your life and see where God has brought you. When you could have died, 
when that could have happened, when he prevented this from happening and he brought you from that relationship or he brought you through that hardship. God has brought us from a mighty long way. You know, it's time for us to put our all into Jesus Christ. Think about it. How long have you been doing what you want to do? It's been a long time. So it's time for us to, to, to give our all to Jesus. Give yourself to Jesus Christ. He wants to be a part of your life. He wants to use you. And I'll tell you one thing. If you try God, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Because he loves us. He wants nothing but the best for us. Stop thinking about or stop wondering about what other people may think of you. Because what you do for Christ, what you do for Christ Jesus is going to last. But what you do for the world, it has an end date. So we must be focused. We must stay focused in this year. We must give our all to Jesus. Just think about, evaluate yourself. Evaluate yourself and think back on how far God has brought you. Look at your life. You know, and I'm thankful that God has brought me from a mighty long way. I was out there in the streets. I was a part of the crowd. I used to party. I used to drink and smoke. But you know what? When God came into my life, he changed me. He changed me. He gave me a new thought process. And I know if he can do it for me, he can do it for you. Yes, we sometimes we may fall off. But if we continue to pray, if we continue to pray and give it to God, he will see us through. So what I'm saying to you today is put God first in whatever you do. Put God first. Get with somebody that's going to pray with you. Get you a powerful prayer partner. It could be your friend. It could be your relative. It could be your husband or your wife. But get with somebody that's going to pray with you because you know what they say? Teamwork, I make the dream work. And when two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst. So get with somebody that will pray for you, that will pray with you, and that will pray for you. You know, like I always say, you know, God loves us. He loves us so much that he sent down his son, Jesus Christ, to die in our place so that we can have life more abundantly. But it's up to us to accept the gift. Live right. Give yourself to Jesus while you have the opportunity. We're here today and gone tomorrow. How many people have you seen gone, passed away? Things happen. And that's why you need to get your life together now. So you will be okay with Jesus. So you will be a part of the Christ family. I always say this, there's a heaven to gain and a heaven in a hell to stay away from. There's a heaven to gain and a hell to stay away from. Remember that God loves you and he wants you a part of the Christ family. Let's do better this year. Let's stand up for what's right. And let's do what Jesus Christ wants us to do. Submit yourself to Christ. Give your life to Christ Jesus. He loves you. He wants to be a part of your life. He wants you to prosper. He wants to heal your body. Like it says in the Bible, if you ask, it shall be given. If you knock in the door, it shall open. All you have to do is ask. Be obedient. Before we end this, I want to say a prayer with you guys. With every eye closed and every head bowed.
Heavenly Father, we come saying thank you for another day. Thank you, Father God, for this moment, Father God. Father God, we ask right now that you heal whoever is watching this video, Father God. Father God, we ask that you come inside their life, that you turn it all around, Father God, no matter what they're going through, Father God. We know that you can heal them, Father God, and you can make things right, Father God. Father God, they may be looking, Father God, for a relationship, Father God, with you, Father God. We ask that you come in their life. Restore, Father God, what's broken, Father God. Father God, we ask that you watch over their family, Father God. Touch their kids, Father God. Touch their situations, Father God. No matter what's going on in their life, Father God, we ask that you make it right. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we give you all the praise and all the glory right now, Father God. We just need you, Father God, to work in their life, Father God. At, Father God, let them come asking, what must I do to be saved? Father God, we give you the praise. We love you. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing and for what you're getting ready to do, Father God. We ask you that you bless their life, Father God. Father God, we ask that you that you take away, Father God, the old, Father God, and give them a new heart, Father God. We love you and we thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. Stand on God's word. He will bless you. He will bless you. All you have to do is try God. Try him. If he did it for me, I know he can do it for you. Remember, I love you. And Jesus Christ loves you more. Do what God wants you to do. Do what God wants you to do. And watch him work in your life. Until next time, you guys, I love you. Stay prayed up.